Guys, I wanted to go into some further detail explaining why I went with the Glow Step Revolution over the Moride Steps that I had before. Again, no hate against the Moride Steps. They are great steps. They work well for 90% of the people who have them. In my case, they just didn't work too well simply because I had to move my fifth wheel way over to the right, really close to this fifth wheel where he has no room to get out now, just so I could deploy the Moride Steps. This specific fifth wheel is kind of exactly where it should be. But you can see the gap here is really wide on this side simply because that was the minimum distance I needed to safely swing down the Moride steps so they wouldn't hit this specific fifth wheel. With these steps, even though the footprint on the ground is roughly the same, I don't have to swing it out to actually get them down. So in this case, I simply pull them out, drop them on the ground, and I can get into my fifth wheel. I don't have to worry about my stairs hitting my neighbor's fifth wheel. Secondly, another thing some people pointed out was that there was a big gap here. And the reason why is because at the time, I didn't fully read the instructions and know that there were three adjustment points to change how far away you wanted this step from the door. Now I have it in the closer setting, and you can see there's a very, very small gap here, maybe an inch or less. Thirdly, these specific steps are completely made in the USA, they're designed in the USA, they have a lifetime warranty on them, and they're incredibly sturdy. They are just really, really great steps to have on a fifth wheel. So a lot of people made the claim that these were just terribly expensive, and I don't really think they are. You can look at other aluminum steps that may be half the price or a little bit more, but they lack the adjustability, they lack the flexibility, and they lack the stability of these specific steps. Plus, they may very well keep me from getting into my fifth wheel when I need to. So when you look at a lot of different things that you can put on your RV or your truck, you'll know some things cost more than others. You know, an example of that is you can get really cheap tonneau covers for 200 bucks, 150 bucks in that range, or you can get some really nice roll-up style that cost well over $2,000 and everywhere in between. For an accessory like this on the fifth wheel to have this flexibility, to have this adjustability and the stability, I'm really happy with this step. And I really don't think they're priced too much for what they are. Not for everybody, but a lot of people will find these steps very convenient. So I just wanted to make a quick video pointing that out for you guys. And a lot of people wondered what I did with that area where the Moride system mounted and I just reinstalled the factory threshold back in and I was ready to go. So what's going on guys? What you are looking at in front of me is a really cool addition to the fifth wheel, but in a non-permanent manner. So this is a premium RV water filter system from ClearSource. ClearSource provided me this system because they wanted me to give an unbiased review of how this works in our RV. Now I've used filtration systems in the past, especially those little Camco inline ones, and they work reasonably well. They just kind of wear out quick, especially if you're in an area with poor water quality. What I like about this system though, is that it is a much, much better filtration system in terms of getting more bacteria, more, uh, you know, small microbes and things out of the water. Now real quick, this is a system I had purchased and I planned on installing into the RV as a permanent system. The problem is because of the height, it wouldn't clear the bottom of my little wet bay and I wouldn't be able to change the filters out without removing the whole assembly. So I was actually looking for something that was a little bit more portable or a lot more portable, but a lot more functional than your typical inline system. This is an inline system, but it acts more as a permanently installed system. So once I unbox it, you'll kind of see how it functions. So first of all, I have to admit that the packaging with this system is really phenomenal. They really know how to wrap and protect it in cardboard to prevent it from getting damaged in route. That is one of those pet peeves of mine. When you get something really nice and it comes in and then you unbox it and everything's damaged. So very happy with the packaging. They also include a little bag with the filter removal tool. This is what you'll use to remove this little cover and tighten it back up. As well as a little brochure here that talks about the benefits of their system. Talks about how the system uses a much better engineered filter. Common filters are rated to 100 microns or not at all. Their second stage carbon block filter element is rated to half a micron. So that's pretty cool and it traps contaminants, others apparently don't. From sediment to silt to bacteria to giardia. That's pretty nasty and that actually kills a lot of people. So this is pretty neat. 
this system right here is heavy. So when you get this in, expect it to not be something that's super lightweight that you'll just be able to manhandle around. This entire system probably weighs close to 30 pounds. So it is a relatively heavy system. When you set it up, you just want to know that and keep it in mind, of course. It has a very nice, it looks like it's either powder coated or e-coated finish. I believe it's powder coated. Yep, it is powder coated. And this is designed so it can either be permanently mounted or it can be mounted outside and it can even be mounted to your bumper or other area where you might want to house it so it's not taking up space inside of your storage. To take the filters off or to see what's inside of the filters, you're simply going to unscrew these canisters. Have to do it using the tool. You're going to slide the tool onto it and you're going to rotate it off. You'll see there's one of your filters, and I already loosened the other one. So you'll see the other filter in here. And here is your other filter. So the way you'll connect this is your water inlet side will come through right here. You'll screw it on. And then your water outlet side will be right here and this is going to go to your coach and this is just a very very well constructed system like I said I grab this one over here this is something I was going to put in and I got all the parts off of Amazon but unfortunately you need a lot of fittings and you need to really design this well for it to work properly in this case you have a much better engineered and designed system. It is definitely something that is more of an investment, especially when it comes to water quality. But what it's going to do is it's going to give you a much better filtration system. I've already seen reviews where people have tested the water flow when connecting it, and apparently it really does not impact your water flow negatively at all. So that's going to be cool. Once we test it with the RV, I'll be able to give you more information on that. But I like how everything is kind of routed and connected. You don't have any sloppy work. Everything looks as if it was very well thought up and put together and engineered properly. Only time will tell. Once I get this connected to the RV and we start flushing water through it, I'd really like to see how these filters hold up over time. That's not something I can report on right now because we don't have it hooked up to the RV and we're not going to be taking the RV out for probably another couple of weeks. So once we take the RV out, I'll be able to test this live, show you how this thing works, and hopefully we'll get a lot cleaner water coming through. Anyways, guys, I will put a link in the description of this video to ClearSource if this is something you're interested in. I know there are a lot of folks that already use this system. I did a lot of research on this company before they sent me their product because I wanted to kind of educate myself on if this is a popular system, if other people get it, simply because it is a relatively pricey system. And if you're going to get something like this, you want to know, do other people have it and have they had success with it? And it's a resounding yes. Every review I've seen on this system gives it really really good accolades and it's supposed to be a very very solidly built system and everyone has said it does a great job filtering the water out so again once we get this connected to the RV I'll report back and give you my initial evaluation and then do a long-term evaluation after that guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon